on the left, it's a website designed Figma file from the Figma community. On the right, it's a cursor-generated HTML web page on my local server. I would not call it 100% identical, but it's 90% there. You can see this web page is also interactive. Cursor also generated JavaScript and CSS file, so we can adjust the page easily to look closer to the Figma file. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilan. Today is an episode of Tech Brew. We'll talk about how to leverage MCP to translate your Figma design into a functional and interactive web page via cursor within a couple of minutes. If you're not familiar with MCP, check out this video right here. Without further ado, let's dive into it. First, we need a Figma token so the cursor can access the design file later. Go to your Figma dashboard and in the left corner, click setting. So your setting window will pop up. Find security tab at the top, click on it. Go to the personal access token area, then click create a token. Let's name it cursor. Then grant the highest accessibility under each scope item. For expiration, I set it to one day for this video's purpose, but you can adjust it based on your own needs. Click create token. You can now see that our token has been created. Copy and paste your token into your personal notes for later usage. Next, let's open the cursor application. In the upper right corner, let's click the setting icon. The visual accessibility is really not great here. Then let's go to the MCP and integration tab display in the left menu. Click add custom MCP. An MCP JSON file has been created and it's asking us to fill in the MCP server codes. We can find MCP server on mcp.so website. In the search, let's input Figma and search. You can see a great selection of MCP server and clients. I test a couple of them. This F2C MCP server works pretty well. Let's click in and we can see this server config display on the right. There is a line that says personal token, which is where we will paste the Figma token we generated earlier. All right, let's copy this server config Coming back to the cursor application, we can paste the entire server config in the MCP JSON page, then paste the Figma token in between the quotation marks in the personal token role. Going back to the cursor setting page, we can see the F2C MCP has been added under the MCP tools. However, the red dot indicates there is an error. Let me ask the cursor chat on the right regarding the issue with MCP connection. Cursor was able to identify that my MCP server is inactive because Node.JSON and NPM are not installed in my system. So Cursor cannot process JSON data as needed. It also provided instruction for installation accordingly. Let's follow the instruction to download the Node.JSON and install it on my MacBook. Okay, we are set. Let's reopen my Cursor, going back to the MCP and integration under the setting. We can see how F2C MCP has been enabled with the green dot indicate the active status. Great, the MCP server has been properly connected. Now let's go back to our Figma design file, select the design we'd like to generate. Right click after select the frame, go to copy slash paste, then click copy link to selection. Let's come back to our cursor, go to the upper right corner, click the toggle AI pane. Again, this visual accessibility is really not great. A new chat window now display on the right. Make sure the setting is set to agent. Now we can paste the link we just got from our Figma design in the input field. Then let's click enter. We can see the cursor starts accessing our Figma design file and generating the design. During this process, the cursor may prompt a couple questions. You can click run, skip, or reject based on your need. After a couple of minutes, it's telling me my project is now ready, and I can now open index.html directly in the browser to see the landing page. Here's the folder that cursor has created on my desktop. Let's click index.html file. All right, so here you have it. In just a few minutes, we have gone from a design in Figma to a fully functional, responsive, and interactive website on a local server. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. We can also access the JavaScript and CSS file to adjust the web page so it can look identical to our design.
This is just a glimpse of how tools like Cursor, Figma, powered by MCP can completely change the way we work. It's not about replacing designer or developer. It's about giving us the power to build, test, and iterate faster than ever before. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more tech and design tips like this. Thanks for tuning into my channel. I will see you in the next one. Bye!